But all of the the Halloween uh, traditions are evil and twisted and dark. Uh, if you take any child into a Halloween a costume store, unless their senses have been deadened, uh, they'll just react in horror. Like, oh my goodness, the in, inadvertently or not. When you're doing anything to worship Satan, it makes you vulnerable to to the enemy. So I would refer you to two things. There's a book called Lucifer Dethroned, written by William Schnobelin. He tells his story about being a little boy trick or treating on Halloween when demons appeared to him, came into him, and said, "We now own your soul." He went went on to be a vampire high priest and a satanic high priest. And thankfully, uh, uh, many, many, many years later, the mercy of God saved him from that whole mess. But people who know about Halloween will warn anybody to stay away from it. And uh, the the idea of uh, keeping people safe, remember, it's not really my opinion that matters, but the opinion of God's word should matter to us as Christians. And it says, have nothing to do with the evil works of darkness. Instead, expose them. What churches should be doing is talking about how evil Halloween is and helping people understand not to participate at all in that. Let me just quote uh, Anton LaVey, who said uh, that he welcomes Christians to worship the devil with the Church of Satan at least one day a year on Halloween. Uh, That's a quote from Anton LaVey that he welcomes the Christians, that at least one day a year, they will worship Satan with with, uh, the Satanists. All of the emergency responders double staff on Halloween night because of the incidents of, of, of beatings, of rapes, of murders, of all kinds of things. Halloween night is the darkest night on the calendar year. And what you should do is spend time praying uh, for yourself and for others and drawing close to God. I said this before, but these candy people from different walks of life pray over these candies. Witchcraft, they pray over the candies. You knock on people's door, you don't know the person that you knock on know she's a witch. Okay, you don't know she's a witch, she's doing Wicca, she's practicing New Age, and you knock on her door and you come in, you come in, in, in legal rights of this witch or this wall or this person is practicing this stuff giving you this kind of candy. Mm-hmm. Now you're taking that stuff home, you put that stuff into your body. Mm-hmm. Amen? And on top of that, and t- and, and, and top of that, I'm Tom Levine said, out of his mouth, you know, he he, oh, he used to he was, he was the ruler of the Church of Satan, mm-hmm. right? Out of his mouth, he said, I want to thank every Christian parent for allowing their child to celebrate Halloween one time a year. The devil's Halloween. The world and the devil wants you to think that's so innocent. It's not a big deal. What's the big deal? You can say, what's the big deal until you are blue in the face, but you cannot hide the fact of the origins of Halloween and the dark truth of Halloween. You cannot hide the fact that on Halloween, you can go look this up or ask any police officer in your town. On Halloween, there is an extremely high level, unlike any other night, of kidnappings, people going missing, murders occur sacrifices happen on that night and so even though while i was practicing witchcraft and i'm going to tell you uh, a story that one thing that i remember doing on halloween um but even though i wasn't doing sacrifices and i didn't go that far i didn't go into that dark room there are witches and satan worshipers out there and people that are completely tormented by demons that are doing these things. And that's a fact. That is an absolute fact. You can look up testimonies of people that have come out of the occult world and they will tell you some of the horrific things. So what happens to a person or a child when they participate in Halloween? Well, uh, one thing that happens to them all is it deadens their conscience. Instead of thinking of ghosts and goblins and ghouls and melted faces and skeletons is evil they they it deadens their conscience so they think well that's okay and uh, you, they get to the point that when they're you know adults they think halloween's no big deal but that is something that happens to everyone it, it goes from there up 
all the way to what happened to little Bill Snowbell when, when he was a, a boy. But, uh, you know, as an international uh, exorcist, I've talked to many, many, many people who were demonized on Halloween through something that happened. People get demonized in haunted houses. They actually come out of the haunted house with demons in them because they, they, in a certain sense, they welcome them by their participation, right? You went into their haunted house to see what they had to offer. What they had to offer is demonization. And uh, the same is true. Of course, there's all kinds of terrible things that happen on Halloween night. What happens to everybody is a deadening of conscience. And uh, from there, it goes down really steeply into the abyss because terrible things can happen to people on Halloween. I used to be the, the chaplain for the local fire department. Uh, Lou was the chaplain for the local sheriff department, another elder for the local police department.